Hey, so I'm getting ready to give a lecture here in Michigan. So I'd love for you to get ready with me. This is gonna be a bit of a longer tutorial as pretty old days. I've got on a turquoise shiny licious and I've tied it with both ends hanging evenly. I don't know quite what I'm gonna be doing yet, but I figure something that I know, colors that I know work on me and um, a style that I know is comfortable and also looks nice and is easy to wrap and unwrap um, is where I'm gonna to go today. So I'm gonna wear this sari scarf. And as you know, the cool thing about sari scarves is you can really pick what part of the scarf do you want to show. So I really love this like flowery border. I'm gonna have this tail I'm looking at the mirror over here also. I'm gonna have this tail hanging down also. And I am gonna fold, I really like that teal, that turquoise floral thing. So I'm gonna fold this so I get a little more texture here. And I'm gonna be adding a headband in the middle there. Okay, let's see how that lays flat, that's good. Not gonna worry about that little end sticking out there because that will be hidden later. So I'm tying everything underneath itself. You don't have to do this, but I find it more comfortable. There we go. Okay, so that's like a good length. I like it to be like just like in the middle of my chest. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna tie this end up. I'm gonna try to build the volume more near the back, which is not the style. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna just, I really want these to be showing. So I'm gonna Try to get these turquoise bits kind of down by my ears. So there we go. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. So, bringing this up around the back, gonna get some volume at the back. Again, this is not the style I've been wearing lately. The style I've been wearing lately has more, usually more volume wear at the front. But this is a style that I'm very, very comfortable with and very comfortable teaching. And if I'm teaching, gonna do something that I know how to do well, right? <laughs> Don't want me teaching something that I might mess up. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring around this end, bring around back, there we go. Oh, don't you love when it just lays perfectly? It does exactly what you want it to do. It doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. Okay. And, hmm, you know what? You can see my decision making posture. I was thinking maybe hang on having this hang down, but no, I'm not gonna do that. It's a little bit too long for my taste, so I'm gonna instead wrap it around and bring it in here. I'll be looking at the back and making any necessary adjustments later. So really when I'm teaching, I want it to be secure because I'm going to be bending over people. This is not as secure as I'd like, so I need to figure out why. Okay, probably what I'm going to do is to make it extra secure because you're working with angles, so I'm going to twist it uh, while at the bottom here, so then the end lays even flatter. There we go. And if I could show some of that turquoise part that I really like, that would be really great. Okay, there we go. You can see my thought process as I wrap. As I said, this is going to be a longer video, we'll see what Ita does with it. She might speed it up, but I want to do one um, more of an instructional video. Okay, and I'm definitely taking my time more today than if I was rushing out of the house. Okay, now I've got this turquoise end that I want to incorporate in, so I think I'm just going to actually layer it up here because I want it showing on this side. So folding it in, in on itself. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. But you know, I think I want it a little bit thinner. There we go. This is really an example of showing the scarf who's boss. You can make it do what you want it to do. These scarves are meant to be used. They're not meant to be, you know, I mean, be gentle with them. Don't go poking holes in them or anything, but you are the boss. You can make it do what you want it to do. They are tried, tested, and true, and meant for head wrapping. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love this. is like such an Andrea look. And for, for my last trick of the day, first of all, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to undo this knot. Because I was not intending on doing that. I guess I just grab it from my wardrobe. Thank God I have some nails. Okay, we'll figure out if I want it. 
here. That looks nice. Or do I want it further back? Hmm. What do y'all think? Too bad this is not a live video, right? Back seems more regal. The front, mm, yeah, I'm gonna do it at the back actually. That's gonna be a bit more of a challenge to hide these strings, but I think I can do it in a turquoise. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up with the turquoise. I'll hide them later. This will work. This part I can definitely speed up. Tying the knot. Okay, so now I've got these these ends that I'm gonna be hiding. It's like having kind of pockets, but in this scarf hiding this part and that part. Okay, there that's hidden nicely. And I'll be going up in there later. That's hidden there. Okay, I am gonna, I can feel that this stuff showing here, I know, but I'm gonna have to go ahead with the mirror. Actually, no, why would I do it in front of you? You guys wanna see that? Okay. I'm holding up the mirror. That's so weird. Okay, so this is what I wanna hide. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take out this part and that's gonna make it much easier. As you can see, there's a bit of a mess coming out here. But I can easily, hopefully easily. <laughs> it's so easy, right? No problem. I can tuck this in like so right here and then that bow end is right in there. Okay, let me grab my mirror and see if that worked. It worked except for these little ones here. Ooh, that looks good. Nice solid wrap. Okay, there we go. Now the only thing I have left to do is like with these little headbands, you can really adjust the leaves and everything to lay where you want. And I'm having them try to lay more on the turquoise part so because the turquoise part shows a little more. Okay, there we go. I'm ready.